hi guys welcome back to my channel guys today it is the wood serving tray collaboration guys um i don't have all the holes for this collaboration but i'm going to mention the one that participated with us before just in case they are participating in again and hosting this collaboration is the grace life diy home decor myself deborah cabasa home living and I believe the co-hosts are Debbie Bubbles, decorated with Jesse Green, Sandy Lynn Home and Garden, Lifestyle Design with Teresa, and Jubilee. Guys, um, right now I have some six scallops wrapped up in bacon. Baking. I'm going to be making um, this. Um, you just make it like this. Every other ingredient comes in there, but I like to add more fish to it. This is really good, guys. This is really good. But um, I have uh, salted catfish here. It's been soaking in hot water to get rid of the salt. You could boil it as well, but don't boil it too much because you don't want it to be um, all the grease out. You don't need to add anything to this. No salt, no nothing. I mean, everything is in here. So, guys, I'm going to be serving it in my little wood tray. I'm not going to be... Um, putting a lot of food enough for us to for my husband and me to eat it's just the both of us I'm also going to be putting fruits um and I believe I'm going to be also adding some cheese and vegetables so let me get to that guys and then we're going to continue anyways you guys can stay right there I am going to move you a little bit so sorry for the movement um right there I'm going to need a bigger bowl. The only thing with this is that it's such a small package that it's only good enough for two people. I know how to make this from scratch, but you know, today is not the day. So this is what the mix looks like. Um, this didn't cost much and they call fish fritter mix. So I'm adding more fish to it, but everything is already in there. There is the instructions how to do it. I believe the box cost me $1.29. So I'm just going to add it here. Let me take out the board for now. Put it over here. I'm going to be placing it here. And all you got to do is just add water to it. And I'll show you guys. It's not a lot of mix in there. See, that's it. So it gives you enough enough uh, mix for two people. And if you want to uh, make more for more people, all you got to do is just add two packages and add your ingredients. So I'm going to shred my fish. First, of course, I'm going to drain it. And then um, I'm going to uh, shred my fish. I shred, it with, I shred it with my hands. It's very easy. My hands are washed, of course. Um, and then you're just going to fry them. So this is so good, guys. This is so good. So, and I buy the fish without the bones in it. You might feel like a little tiny bone or on it, but it's not going to do you any harm. Now, if you are giving it to a child, I, I recommend for you not to add the fish because children are sensitive to um, the little bones, guys. You know, their mouth is delicate and everything so you could do this as well i usually do them with shrimp i cut some shrimp and i put it in the mix but my husband is allergic to uh, shrimp so we're not doing that this time i'm just adding the fish guys you might hear a lot of noise the traffic because my windows are open today today for the past two days it's been a beautiful day guys it's been beautiful the weather even though it's been raining but no heat so there you guys have it i'm going to add this to this sorry about the sirens and let me wash my hands sorry about the sirens guys i'm just gonna add a little bit of water at a time uh, meanwhile, I'm going to be heating up my frying pan. And just 
you know, mix it together. It's gonna have more fish in it than anything. Make sure you don't add too much water because then it's going to be really, really runny. You don't want it to be runny. You want it to be um, runny, but not too runny. You could use tartar sauce if you like. We like to eat them plain. So, the only thing that I add to this is a little bit of sazon just to give it that, uh, that color, that golden color. Because I don't know, for some reason, I don't know if you like me, I don't like eating food that looks pale. Sazon gives a flavor, but it doesn't give it any salt um, texture. You want it to look like so. You want it to look like this. Okay? For you to be able to do the fritters. So let me add a little bit of the song in there. Hold on. Too many sirens, guys. Hold on. And you just put them to fry. So let them get nice and cooked around it. Um, my oil was not the way hot the way I wanted it but you want to make sure that your oil, the oil is hot so you don't have any problem with them so let's see hopefully they they'll be fine yeah let them cook a little bit and then I turn it around meanwhile I have a clay with um some paper towel because you want to drain all the extra grease and um, depending how big you make them, that's how many you are going to get. But um, they usually use like a little spoon like this. But if I use this, I have to add two spoons. So I'd rather, I'd rather use my rice spoon, which I put one of these spoons and make them like that. So let's see. Yeah, they stuck. So I gotta get it my stuff. So I'm gonna bring the glass. When I do that, I will use my spatula to get them my stuff. So yeah, that's how come it's recommended for your oil to be nice and hot. There you go. So guys, there's going to be a playlist, so every everybody's going to be in the description box of my um, video, so you guys can go and check them out. So, when I'm done with this, I will bring you guys back, okay? And this is what they look like. They're nice. Oh, they are so good. This one just came out. I just added a few more in there. And I got for like maybe one more. But like I said, depending the size that you um um make them, that's how uh, many you're going to get. Um, Here in the restaurant, they make them really big. And they sell them for like 4 or $5. I mean, you could make them at home. And they spend only $1.19. And if you want to add whatever you want to add to them for... You want to add more fish, you want to add uh, shrimp, whatever you want to add. You could even add crab meat. You're going to spend less because if you go with your family and one one person in your family wants some, you are going to spend a lot of money. Guys, I love to enjoy uh, things that I could make at home for my family and myself. This color, guys, uh, my husband just take this color. He tastes one and it was so delicious. I will show you that in a minute. I still have them in the oven. So let me finish this and I'll bring you back. Well, guys, we're getting this tray ready. I cut some broccoli. I have baby carrots and yellow peppers. These are all raw vegetables. My husband doesn't like raw vegetables, so you know, I guess I'm going to be having the raw vegetables. So guys, now it's time to get the scallops of the oven and show you what this delight looks like. Oh my goodness. 
it looks amazing so here they are you guys can see they are two missing because my husband got in it so we're going to take those out and we're going to be placing it in a little um, tray here so like that it don't put the grease all over the board so guys these are so delicious we see the make you just buy your scallop um wrap them up in the bacon and put them to bake guys put them to bake usually what i do is i take my bacon i put it in the microwave for like two minutes to give it the start of baking so you guys um don't have to wait that long because the scallop cook really fast it's the easy item to make and they are delicious guys they are delicious so I'm going to be finished serving this um, I'm not gonna uh, put cheese in the board because I don't think my husband wants any cheese but um, I'm going to be placing this I will place it right here I'm going to add the rest of the scallops I'm also going to add my fritters over here And remember guys this is just for me and my husband if I would have guests of course I would have been using gloves but since it's just for him and I it's just fine so I'm going to set this up I'm going to bring you to show you my final review guys are you ready we are ready to eat so this is what our little charcuterie board looks like it looks amazing and there's the scallop like I said you could serve it with tater sauce tater uh, tater sauce I think it's called or tartar sauce yeah guys so my husband and I are gonna sit down enjoy our table and enjoy our meal guys let me leave it like I always say be kind to one another don't forget to smile overall stay safe stay healthy and remember guys God loves you and Debbie also loves you too it will be into the next one. Bye-bye, guys.